well. A wet barrel hydrant is a fire hydrant that typically has the same use as any fire hydrant. A source of water for firefighters to use for fire, flush water lines, fill water trucks, and serve as a construction bypass. The main difference is that these hydrants are located in specific places that have climates where freezing is not an issue. According to the Fundamentals of Firefighter Skills and Hazardous Materials Response, 4th edition, these hydrants maintain water in their barrels and do not require draining. Wet barrel hydrants are located all over the world, but some notable areas would be Edmonton, Vancouver, and California. These places typically do not have to worry about the extreme freezing points like the weathers we have here in Ontario. These hydrants are located at every other intersection in a grid format according to the utility map. Though similar to any fire hydrants, these are operating differently than a dry barrel hydrant. To open and operate a wet barrel hydrant, firstly you remove the cap from the outlet, specifically the one a firefighter will be using. Secondly, check inside the hydrant for opening for any dirt or debris. Third, make sure any hydrant caps not noose or snugly attached. Fourth, attach the hydrant wrench to the stem nut located behind the desired outlet. Fifth, turn the hydrant wrench in a counterclockwise direction to open the hydrant, verify flow, and flush out any debris. Once done, immediately close to stop the flow. Sixth, attach the hose or hydrant valve to the outlet. Finally, after receiving the order to open the hydrant from the pump operator, turn the hydrant wrench 12 or more full turns counterclockwise to fully open it. Opening the valve slowly at first is important to avoid a pressure surge. Once the water has begun to flow, you can now quickly turn the valve to fully open the hydrant. Once the operation is finished, firefighters will need to properly shut down the wet barrel hydrant. First, turn the hydrant wrench until the valve opposite the outlet you are using is closed. Second, allow the hose to drain by opening a drain valve or disconnecting a hose connection downstream. Make sure to do this slowly to allow any remaining pressure to escape. Finally, replace the hydrant cap. Wet barrel hydrants are made out of multiple different types of metal. The most common are ductile iron, stainless steel, and bronze. Ductile iron is commonly used in areas that do not have a body of ocean water. Stainless steel and bronze are used in coastal areas as it is better protection from corrosion. Stem and stem nuts are made out of low zinc and low lead bronze, which makes it safe for drinking water. The standard wet barrel hydrants use a threaded nozzle. These hydrants have one or more valve openings above the ground line. They have separate valves that control the flow of water to each individual outlet. The wet barrel hydrant consists of a stem guide seal, body, stem, stem o-ring, valve rubber, retainer, o-ring seat, retaining nut, cotter pin, stem guide o-ring, stem guide, carrier, valve seat, cap, cap washer, and chain ring. In conclusion, the difference between a wet barrel and a dry barrel hydrant primarily stems from the climate of the environment and the location of water inside the hydrant. Wet barrel hydrants are filled with water all to the top of the head while dry barrel has water underground. Hope you guys enjoy our presentation. 